Hello, 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 Procrast Creators, and welcome back. So today, 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 we are going to use our HTV Rant heat press as well as their transfer paper to put pictures on shirts. That's right. That's right. We're putting some more pictures on a shirt. Um, and just so you know, they have sent me all of these products and we are going to give our honest opinion and see how they work and what they do. But before we do that, let's say it that way, before we do that, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can get the latest videos as they come out. That's what we want, that's what we want. So, after you do those things, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Let's go. All right, fam, so we are doing some print and cut with our HTV Rant vinyl um, today. And so I have already uploaded one image in here um, and I am going to go ahead and upload a picture with you guys so that you guys can see um, the process of doing both. Something that's more, um, I don't know, cartoony, and then something that's more just a straight um, image with a person on it. So um, now I gotta find my picture again. So I'm gonna put a picture of me. You know, most of these videos I have a picture of me. Oh, I'm not vain. <laughs> um, so, and we're gonna go ahead and put that picture in. So there's my picture. Um, because it's a picture, I just go ahead with the complex so all of the different colors and things can be in there. So I could leave the picture like this and print the square or I can remove the background by just clicking that remove button. Um, this is something definitely different from videos that I've done in the past because um, Cricut has updated uh, the way you can remove um, the background. So um, so I could leave the picture like this or like I said, I can revert back and have my background there. So that would be completely up to you. I'm going to go ahead and remove the background so that the image can be cut around um, my body because I think a lot of people are looking to do those types of things. So once that is done, I'm going to hit apply and then continue. And so then I have the cut image, which would just be basically a silhouette of that picture, or I can select print, then cut image. Um, I am just going to put me as the name of the image. Um, and then I'm going to select upload. So now that image is now uploaded into my design space. So I could then um, add that picture to the canvas. And so here are all of the things that I've added. And when they first populate in, they are kind of all together. So you kind of have to click off of the images and then um, click back on them. And let's see. So right here, if you see, like, it'll tell you if something is wrong with the image. And I'm assuming this image being 15.1 um, inches wide is probably too wide. So if you have something where you can't go to make it, it's telling me the image is too large and it has to be a 6.75 by 9.25. So um, there are ways to make images larger um, by basically slicing it into pieces that is acceptable for um, Cricut, but we're not going to do that today. So I am just going to make this image the size that is acceptable. And now you can see that the arrow is gone. Um, what I am going to do, so I'm going to select the Instagram and the Facebook. I think those are the only two I've uploaded right now. And so now just to go along with my picture, you know, so if I was to actually use this on something, and then you can see the Instagram and the Facebook work together. So we're going to make that larger. 
So for the sake of this, you know, I want to add my other, my Amazon and my um, YouTube, which um, you are, let's see, do I have a YouTube one that I've added? So let's go ahead and add YouTube in there anyway, too, just in case I really want to use this. So we'll put YouTube down there. Um, so from here, then I am going to hit make it. And then as you can see, all of the things are now on the mats. And you can see my Instagram and my Facebook, let's see, are on, they, they moved them from my second mat because it would have come off right here and it has to stay within that black box. So they moved them over. Um, which I think I'm gonna be fine with for now just for the sake of this video. So from here, um, we don't have to do any kind of mirroring of the image. We can leave the image as um, as it is, um, just because we are going to heat press it down to um, the front of the shirt. And so it's not going to be put on backwards, if that makes sense. Probably not. So anyways, we're going to hit continue. And then from here, it's looking for my maker, but it's also letting me know that I can print the image. So I am going to go ahead and um, put my paper into my printer and send it to the printer. All right, y'all, so I am about to send this to the printer and I'm trying to record both things so you guys can see. I am using an HP printer. That doesn't mean you have to use an HP printer. That just means that's what I am using. So I'm using my inkjet printer I'm going to leave the bleed on. I don't know if it necessarily matters in this particular case. Um, and I am going to hit print. So once I do that, um, it should send it to my printer. So I'm going to let you see that video. So, and here is the other thing. While the printer is getting ready to go, I am using the HTV Raunt Dark Fabrics Transfer Paper. So you guys, there it is. That's what I'm using. This is one of the biggest questions that I get. So yes, it is going to not print on your Cricut, but print from your printer. And you are sending it through Design Space. And as you can see, it is printing the design onto that paper. And like I said, I put two sheets of this paper in. So here is the first one while we're waiting for the second one to print. Again, this is the HTV, excuse my mess y'all. This is the HTV Runt Dark Fabrics Transfer Paper. There's 20 sheets in this pack. Um, and as you can see, it says inkjet printers only. So you can use it with any inkjet printer. So, um, oh, and I'm waiting for it to print, but I have to select print. So let me go ahead and print the second one. The first one has printed, so I have gone ahead and selected the second mat, and I am basically doing the same thing, selecting my printer, leaving the bleed on. I only want one copy of this, so I am going to go ahead and hit print. So you guys are pretty much seeing the same thing. Um, I have set, sent it to the printer, and now it is printing my image of the picture of myself. So again, you can do things that are more, like if you have cartoon characters or things that you want to print out, or just things that are really colorful and have a lot of detail, or you can do things like printing um, a person's face on a shirt, bag, whatever you want to put it on. So um, as you can see, there's me 
I look kind of cartoony, don't I? <laughs> Oops, got my finger in the way, y'all. So there is our second one. So, and I, I just really can't say it's enough. Here is the paper that I am using. Again, that HTV Rant paper. All right, you guys. So our next part was putting our actual image on the mat. And I do have a few concerns just because I didn't think about the lines that are in between here. So I don't know if it's gonna try to cut every single line or if it's gonna cut it solid. I should probably put it on a different background and then did something different, but I didn't. Um, so we're gonna see <laughs> what happens with that. Um, so this one may be a bust just because, and you know, I like to show you guys mistakes. So like I said, I should have put this on a background and then um, did the, um, and then put them together. So anyways, we're gonna see if that this works just like this, if not. And there is a little like bleed over over here for where I'm, I have a background on there. So we're just gonna see how those things work. Um, and then we will move forward. So um, the thing that it's asking us to do now is our um, arrow light is blinking. So we're going to um, load our mat in. And then what this is going to do is tell us to hit our go button, which is your C, your cricket button. So you're gonna hit um, your cricket button. And then what it's going to do now is look for the markers. So we're gonna let it look for the markers and while it's looking for the markers, um, and like I said, this black box is what I'm calling the markers and it's just making sure that everything is correct so that it knows where to cut. Um, so right now it's just making sure that we have the right image, it's in the right spot, um, and once it figures all of that out, then it will um, go ahead and start the cutting process. So now it's checking for the blade and it is ready to cut. So let's see what it does. <laughs> oh, it is cutting every individual line. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that's that. We'll just have to put it on individually on the shirt or the bag or whatever we're gonna put it on so i'm gonna let this cut and i will come back to you okay guys so i just wanted to show you really quickly what i did um to this um to this one because it cut you know every individual piece so what i did was um, went to shapes. I pulled in a circle and um, this peel shape here. And as you can see, I just put them over top one another and I kind of made sure the circle was just about the same size as the circle from my design. Um, what I'm going to do here is um, weld these two pieces together so that I just have that one solid piece. And then I am going to um, arrange this back to the front. And then I have, I'm gonna center that around, center that in the, my now new shape. And now I have both of these shapes. So now what I'm gonna do is flatten so flatten is over here at the bottom on the right hand side. I'm going to flatten this. Um, and then that way it should just cut up right around the edges of this thing. So, um, so, yeah. so just remember with everything that I showed you on the computer, you want to make the circle or the background um, whatever color you want it to be. <laughs> so that being said, we're gonna go ahead and put this in and then we're gonna see now that we flattened it, will it just stay around our edges? So we're gonna go ahead and hit that Cricut or the go button. Um, and from here, we're going to let it do its thing. Like I said, um, as before, it's going to look at these black lines here to make sure 
that um, it knows where to cut and where everything is. So it is checking those guidelines um, in order to show it where to cut. So here we go. Let's see, you guys. So it went to where my vibe board was, which is hanging off beneath. And look, it's going around it. Yes, boo boo, yes. I am going to go ahead and we're going to go over to our HTV Ront heat press and get this on to our project. Okay guys, so we're going to turn this pretty thing on. Look at the colors. Ooh. So we're going to hit our power button. Um, now in the um, packet of information, like on the back of your front sheet has all of your directions for your materials needed, how to design the image. If you want to use a home arm, that's a question that I would get. You can do it with a home arm. You can also do it with this press here. Um, and then your washing instructions as well as storage. So lots of good information on the back of that um, packet sheet. And so here it says to preheat um, our press to 320 to 338 degrees. So we're gonna go ahead and hit our temperature button and we're gonna knock it down. So 320 to 328, so let's just put it at like 325. So we're gonna let that be our temperature and let that warm up. And then here it says gently peel finish transfer image from backing and position transfer image face up on your project surface. Cover completely with parchment paper provided. So in our pack also came some parchment paper here. So we're gonna cover our design with this paper. Um, and then it says set at uh, medium to high pressure for best results. And you're gonna press for eight to 12 seconds, okay? So, um, and then before here, even it, before there, it says that when we pre-press it, so we're gonna press our um, project here, so we're gonna press, let me just move that up for you a little bit. We're gonna press our project, I'm sorry y'all. We're gonna press our project without the design, just, and it says that we're doing that to release moisture and remove wrinkles. So that is what we're doing that for. So um, this is actually the bag that comes with this. So this it's like, it's like having a purse, y'all. <laughs> it has its own bag. So we're gonna um, use this bag just to put my face on because I don't need nothing else for my face on. <laughs> so we're gonna put my face on the the um, heat presses bag. So um, like I said, we're just gonna give this a chance to warm up and then we will do that. Oh, look, and look how ready it is so quick. So, um, I'm just going to, now this says do this just for a couple of seconds. So we're just going to knock the wrinkles out of it here, just like that. Like that's all you really need to do. And so from there, like I said, this is the one we're just going to put my face on. So we're going to peel, peel our design out. Bum, bum. Just like that like this and so and we're gonna put my my <laughs> my wonderful face onto this i'm gonna go ahead and have our design on we're gonna go ahead as the instructions have told us and put down our parchment paper so i'm just gonna put that down make sure i'm not moving my design in places i don't want it to move like i did that So we're gonna have our design down in the space that we wanna have it. And then like I said, from here, it's telling us that we need to press with medium pressure. And we're gonna use pressure by either 
putting our pressure here with this handle or this heat press has handles on each side. So we can hold it, do a two hand press or a one hand press, okay? So that being said, we're gonna take, there you go. We're gonna put our thing down, we're gonna set our timer, which I should have did beforehand. And it's at 8 to 10. I'm probably taking a few seconds here doing this. So, and then we're going to hit our button and let our seconds go. And so, um, like I said, you could do the one hand press like this, or you can do the two hand press like this. And so it's already supposed to be done. So we can move that from there. We just move that down. And there we have it. Look, y'all. So there is our first one. Done, done, done. Right? And it's supposed to be flexible and movable, which this bag isn't very flexible, but you know, you can see I can do like that. Everything is still where it needs to be. So there's our first one. I don't know, y'all. We might have a new um, um, HTV. Um, dark paper that we can use. So that is our first design. So well, we'll see what it looks like. So what I again like to do, you want to get out that moisture and you want to get out the wrinkles, right? So you want to take a couple of seconds just to go over your project and get those out. One thing that I like to do as well is find my corners um, and put my corners together so that I can find the center of my shirt. And then what I'm gonna do is once I know I'm all lined up, I'm gonna put a crease here. And I just talked about getting rid of the wrinkles, but the crease helps you find the center of your, of your project. So now I have a nice line here that's my center that I can use to help guide me. So now when I put my project on, so I'm also going to try to find the center of my project and just do a little thing at the bottom and a little thing at the top so that I know that right here, cause I'm gonna pull this off and then right, you know, maybe a quarter of an inch away from that V, that is where I should be trying to line all of this up. Find my little crease that's barely at the top and then most people go two to three inches down. I kinda eyeball it. Um, just because I've been doing it a while. But you can definitely measure. So we're gonna put that there. And I just move this. So that's gonna be our shirt. And so now again, we're gonna take our parchment paper. We're gonna put it over top. I'm gonna make sure my Stuff didn't move when I did that, which it did. So, you know, sometimes you have these challenges. So we're gonna hold that there, and then again, we're going to do this. We're gonna set our timer here before we even get started to 12 seconds. We're gonna put it on top of our design. We're gonna hit our um, button. And then we, oh look, and it tells you the m amount of pounds of pressure that you're, <gasps> it tells you, look y'all, it tells you the amount of pounds of pressure that you're using. Wow, I was like, how are you supposed to know that? When I was looking at this, and I need to take this off. But it tells you what in the world. That is awesome. I did not see that at first. And look at this. Look, y'all. Mm-hmm. Old school vibe. That's what we doing around here. 
that's what we're doing around here. We're doing an old school vibe. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So that is our two projects. And I must say, you know, I'll have to see, you know, I'll come back in six months to a year like I did before and show you what it looks like. Um, but, you know, this is pretty good. You can stretch it. Yes, boo boo, yes. So, like I said, so we have this one and we have this one. So those are our two projects. But I, okay, so again, just one more time. And like I said, I'm just kind of seeing what this is gonna do if I let it sit for a while and see how long it takes it to shut itself off. But y'all, just one more time. Can you say, mm, we did a print and cut today. We did a print and cut today. So you can advertise your business. You can do stuff for family and friends. You can free whoever you want to free. <laughs> or at least put the shirt out there to say you're going to want to free them. You can do some old school vibes. You can do some new school vibes. And you can do it with your HTV Ront um, Dark Vinyl. What is it? Dark Transfer Vinyl. So let me just show you that so you can get that right. I will have all of this stuff in the description box below, below, check out the links. Also know that right now, and you might see this video a year from now, so, but right now, at the time of the recording of this video, they are doing a, car, a fans carnival for their fans, or fans carnival. I'm probably saying it wrong. But they are doing a fans carnival. Check out the links for that as well, because you can get some great deals on some of their vinyls. Um, so you want to check that out. Like I said, um, from what I've seen today, I'm pretty happy with this. And like I said, people are always asking me, what vinyl do I use for a print and cut? Now you got a new one to use. It's on Amazon as well. So I'll have the Amazon links and I'll have the links to HTV Rant below. Um, so like I said, check out both of those. Go ahead and do that carnival. That membership gives you um, $30 off their new heat press. Um, and it also gives you like stuff for your birthday. So you get all these points to get more stuff, more money off. So go ahead and take advantage of all of that good stuff. And with that being said, I thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit that video, and we'll see you all the next time.